Now we are going to see the seventh question of exercise 7.1 of coordinate geometry. Find the point on the x axis which is equidistant from 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9. So we need to find a point on the x axis. Listen very carefully. This is vertical axis or vertical number line called y axis and this is horizontal number line called x axis. Right? So find the point on x axis. Here is one clue. First clue. Point on x axis they have given. So the point may be at anywhere on negative x axis or the positive x axis. But what is a common thing or what is a known thing? If any point lying on x axis, definitely its y coordinate is 0. Okay. So we can write that point p of x comma y as p of x comma 0. Okay. Because y coordinate is 0 for any point lying on x axis. So we need to write the point solution. Let the point on the x axis is p of x comma 0 because the point is lying on x axis it is having some value on x but it don't have any value on y because its y coordinate is 0 okay so this is the important thing we need to understand okay and they have given which is equidistant equidistant is nothing but equal distance Okay, so that means a point on x axis p of x comma 0 is equal distance to these two points. So let us consider that point as a and b 2 comma minus 5 this is the first point and the second one is b of minus 2 comma 9. Okay, so what they have given the point here comes the first flow x axis lying on x axis so x comma 0 which is equal distance this is the second clue which is that means the x-axis the point lying on x-axis is equal distance between these two points so PA distance must be equal to PB distance that is our second clue so next let the point on x-axis is P of x comma 0 and it is equidistant to the points a of 2 comma minus 5 and b of minus 2 comma 9 okay fine now which is equidistant so we can say p a distance must be equal to p b distance p a distance must be equal to p b distance okay so p a distance must be equal to p b distance means we can apply the distance formula we are having these two points no so we can apply two point distance formula nothing but square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is equal to again square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square between pb points okay pa distance must be equal to pb distance okay now we can apply the values so first point P, second point is A. So this is x1, y1 and this one is x2, y2. So we can apply the values x2 minus x1 means 2 minus x whole square plus y2 minus y1 means minus 5 minus 0 whole square which is equal to square root of here PB distance. This is the first point x1, y1. B point is again x2, y2. So x2 minus x1 means minus 2 minus x whole square plus y2 minus y1 means 9 minus 0 whole square. Okay. Now we are having square root on both sides. So we can remove easily remove the square root will cancel by taking squaring on both side. Squaring on both side definitely removes the square root on both sides okay squaring on both side makes the square root cancel so squaring on both side the square root will cancel 2 minus x whole square plus minus 5 whole square which is equal to minus 2 minus x whole square plus 9 square okay 2 minus x whole square it resembles a formula what formula 
a minus b whole square a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square then here minus 2 minus x is nothing but a plus b whole square we can simply write two terms are in negative so definitely we can write 2 it is equivalent to 2 plus x whole square so it is it goes the it goes by the formula a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square how it comes is a minus 2 minus x whole square this can be written as 2 plus x whole square how which is equal to in both the terms negative is common no we can take minus 1 as common it becomes plus 2 plus x whole square we can write minus 1 whole square 2 plus x whole square okay so minus 1 square is 1 1 into 2 plus x whole square nothing but 2 plus x square okay so you should not worry about what formula we need to apply like that if two numbers are having or two values are having same sign it is nothing but a plus b whole square formula so simply we can change it as a, a minus b whole square a plus b whole square it is nothing but 2 plus x whole square so we can expand it 2 square is 4 minus 2 into a into b plus minus 5 sorry uh, minus 2 ab plus b square b square is x square this is a square 2 square minus 2 ab plus b square is x square plus minus 5 square is 25 which is equal to this is nothing but 2 plus x whole square so 2 plus x whole square if we do means a square is a 2 square plus a 2 into a into b plus b square then plus 9 square is 81 4 minus 2 to are 4 4x plus x square plus 25 which is equal to 2 square is 4 2 into 2 4x plus x square plus 81 and 4 plus 4 plus 25 that is 29 minus 4x plus x square which is equal to 4 plus 81 is 85 plus 4x plus x square if we bring plus x square to right hand side it becomes negative so x square and x square will get cancelled so remember one thing if two terms are having same sign and same terms which is locating on either of equal to sign on both side of equal to sign we can cancel it out okay if you bring this x square to left hand side it becomes negative anyhow it will cancel to each other okay next 29 bring the constant value one side and the variable value to another side if 85 comes to left hand side it becomes minus 85 which is equal to 4x minus 4x when it comes to right hand side it becomes a plus 4x so 29 minus 85 is minus 56 85 two, uh, two numbers are having different sign so we need to subtract it out 85 29 so subtract it out so we need to take care borrow so it becomes 7 it becomes 15 15 minus 9 is 6 7 minus 2 is 5 but the sign of the bigger number is negative so we can put minus 56 so minus 56 which is equal to 4x plus 4x is 8x we can simply write 8x equal to minus 56 or we can say x equal to I am writing here 8x equal to minus 56 x equal to minus 56 by 8 that is equal to 186 7 8 are 56 minus 7 x equal to minus 7 we found the value of the point which is lying on x axis that is nothing but p of x is minus 7 comma 0 this is the point lying in x axis okay hence the point lying on x axis x axis p of x comma 0 is p of minus 7 comma 0 okay this is our answer if 
if in the question find the point on y axis if they given y axis if the point lying on y axis means what we need to do look here if any point lying on y axis definitely its x coordinate is 0 so we need to put what x coordinate 0 there must be y value so p of 0 comma y very very important okay you all need to note it down okay if a point lying on y axis means its x coordinate is 0 so we need to consider the point as p of 0 comma y if a point lying on x axis means we need to consider the y point is 0 so the point is p of x comma 0 so this is the important clue okay we shall see the next question in next class thank you